Hey friends, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit nasally. I'm just finishing up a cold, nothing major. So no, I haven't picked up smoking. <laughs> but in this video, we are going thrifting and I decided instead of doing a haul at the end for the sake of time, I'm just going to show you this shopping cart symbol. So when you see that, you'll know that that is an item that I purchased. This was my first time shopping at this thrift store because we happened to be out of town for a funeral but the weather was so nice so afterwards we decided to do a little bit of shopping and by we i mean my husband and i so you will see my shy husband a little bit later on in the video he doesn't normally like to show his face so you won't see his face in the actual shopping part but you will see him later on when we're doing the home projects If you've been following me, you know that I'm planning on doing strawberries in my kitchen for summer again this year. And so, of course, I had to pick up that vintage pitcher for $3. I think my husband was the first to spot this tricycle. He likes anything with wheels. He's a total car guy. My son is the same way. I think it runs in the family. I may use the tricycle on the front porch with some plants, perhaps. I'm really not sure what to do with it, though. So if you have any ideas, I would love to hear them. I do like to check out the vintage books when I go thrifting, mostly for decor. Now in this case, I found one of my favorites, Nancy Drew, The Clue in the Crumbling Wall. That's such a good one, but I didn't want to spend $10 for it. The next thrift store was going to close in 12 minutes, so I didn't have time to film really, but I will show you what I picked up. The first thing I found was this gorgeous picture. I love the detail on it. It reminds me of an English cottage look. I spent $8 for it and it is officially the largest one that I own. So my sweet Zara puppy and I decided to go pick some lilacs from outside of our house. They smell so good and I think they'll work just perfectly in this picture. And I'm going to go ahead and put them in my entryway because there's nothing like lilacs for a welcoming scent. And then I found this riser. I only paid $3 for it. It did not have a ticket on it when I took it up front and the lady made up a price. So I thought that was a pretty good price. I think I'm probably going to end up painting it white. These wreaths are probably both a little bit on the small side, but I was just kind of playing around with it. And then, believe it or not, my husband talked me into these candle holders. They were $5 a piece, and they are made out of concrete. So they're really heavy, and my husband said, if you don't end up using them, I would love to use them outside. Next, we're moving on to the tear tray decorating. This was a tray that I put together last year, and then this year we're going to use those same items and I'm going to show you how it works out on a two-tier tray instead.
I didn't have a red spoons like I had last year, so I just went ahead and used my regular silverware spoons. If I had some red, white, and blue sprinkles, I would probably add those to the sprinkles bowl, but I don't. But you get the idea. And now I'm wondering, do you prefer this look in the two-tier tray, or do you prefer it in the horizontal flat tray like I used last year? Moving on to the next tray, this is a tray that I purchased from Amazon. I will link it below for you, and I am using a truck in this one as well, but it's going to be just the plain red truck this time. This chicken was one of the thrifted items that you saw in the beginning in my shopping portion. And then this cloche was one of three that I purchased from Amazon. And this is, I believe, the mid-sized one. They're all pretty small and perfect for tiered trays. And I can link those for you as well. These little stars were from Hobby Lobby. And if you're wondering, yes, that is an empty tape roll for a riser. What can I say? You use what you can. Nobody's going to see it. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I like to name my trays according to theme. My first tray, I guess I would just call my patriotic ice cream tray. And then this tray, of course, is also, also patriotic for summer. And yet it has the little strawberries in it. And it has the chicken. So I guess you'd say it's a farmhouse slash patriotic tray. I don't know. I guess I'm not coming up with anything creative, but that's what it is. Maybe I'll call this one the 4th of July at the farmhouse. Because after all, it has all the farmhousey things and the flag and it has the old truck and it has a little house. So I guess that's what it's going to be. I promise to tell you what some of our home projects are that we've been working on. One of them is installing this low profile microwave. My other microwave died over the weekend and so I just decided to go with this kind, this low profile kind because it takes up less visual real estate. So there's just this feeling of more space but we just put it in so I'll be letting you know what I think of it. Another little project that I recently did was I pulled off these glass cabinet doors and just made one big open shelf for strictly decor. So I cannot wait to show you how that turned out in my summer kitchen decorate with me video. And then this next project was one that I had talked about before. I have this side table in my dining room and I've never liked the color of the wood on top and I was trying to match this vase that I have. You can see what color I originally had. The wood tone was extremely orange, more orange than anything else in my dining room. This is another look for you. And then the other project I did was I painted the inside of my corner cabinet. However, after I got it painted white, it really made the rest of the cabinet just stand out orange. I even brought it in the house to see if it was as bad as I thought, and it was. And you can see the newly stained side table there by comparison. So I still have more work to do on that. Before I wrap up this video, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who commented on my skit. I had so much fun playing Paula Papalardo. No plans for her to reemerge anytime soon. And some of you may not know this, but I used to stutter quite a bit. And back in the day when I was really struggling hard with it, I would sometimes change my voice or put on accents and it helped me not to stutter. My next videos will be a kitchen and dining room decorate with me video. Well, that'll be separate video, two separate videos. 
So look for those. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I hope you will consider subscribing because I would love to see you in my upcoming videos. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, stay thankful. We may have it all.